Hey everybody, Chad here. We are about to set up our Elk Mountain wall tent. This is the 13 by 16 with an awning. We already have one set up and the only things we're waiting on is we have to get the correct size on the rain fly and the floors. Those should be here by Friday at the latest. So we'll set those up then. We're gonna set the rest of the tent up today and wanted to set, uh, show you a few things first. These poles come in these little have these little straps on them on the end so you can hold them we'll probably never be able to get them back in there but we're not planning on taking this thing apart much so these longer ones here in the middle that's going to be the triangle for the top of the tent and then you have the ones here that have these on them these are the ones that are going to be um going across the triangle uh, down that way and that way and on the floor going that way and then the thing that guys confused on the first one, which we won't be confused this time, is you also have these. And they're called, I think, wall um, labeled. These don't have the little um, little pieces to attach them on the ends. They don't have little holes on them. So these are the ones that are going to go up and down from to do the sides of the tent. So you'll see us when we're picking these up. The ones on this pile here, those are the sides of the tent. They don't have any holes in them. The ones with the holes in them are gonna go every, pretty much everywhere else. And then these longer ones here, that's gonna be your actual triangles going down like this. So triangles, one, um, you're gonna have a, the uh, truss system here, have these wires. They're gonna go across the middle, you'll see that. And then they give you all these pieces. I've got them separated. These are the ones that attach to here. Then you have some of the corner pieces and ones that are kind of in the middle there. So. They label them A, B, C, D. So that's pretty much it besides the actual tent canvas itself, which we have not opened yet, but it's in here in a nice uh, package as well. And then this is our, this is actually a 14 by 22 is how long this is. So we've got a little bit of room for some overhang and the rain fly is gonna actually hang over the whole thing. So rain water should not be able to get up uh, under the tent at all. And that's pretty much everything that you get. We got it really fast when we ordered it um, just a few days later. And I said the only uh, hiccup we had was we got the wrong size um, see, uh, floor to go inside, which isn't a big deal. And then we also got the wrong size rain fly, which we definitely won't because we're gonna have fires going out here. And we're also gonna have it, of course, up for pretty much year round. So get those on Friday and we'll, we'll have another video putting those up. But now we'll get going.
Alrighty, a couple hours later after a few mix-ups because I wasn't looking at the instructions this time the whole time I was kind of going from memory from the other tent a couple reminders when you do this I said the the long poles go down the little poles with the little um, holes that click in place those go all around the top and around the sides and then the poles that go down right here those don't have any holes in them so they just kind of use these little screw ins right here once you get everything inside you just go around and you strap all this now once we pulled it up to right here we strap these in really loose so that that way the wind would keep it from blowing it backwards and then once you get it lined up before you lift it all the way up on the second side you get this part lined up and go ahead and tie those off kind of gently you can go back and redo them tighter later on but go ahead and tie those and that way it'll keep everything straight across and you can line it up before you lift this side over here remember we lifted this side once we had the tent over but once we uh lifted this part up through the tent over it make sure you line that up before you do this side one thing we forgot to do or i forgot to do was to put on these going across on this side before we started putting the top on so go ahead and you want to put you're going to put all these on and those going across and then the legs on one side so that way once you do that um, you can pull the top all the way across so that's pretty much it we got some windows which i think have already been closed back up yep they're closed they're closed up but um this is a door that opens on the back which we will probably never use over here is a screened in door which we will use quite often and then you've got the things here that pulls this little triangle area down and creates um, an opening for some airflow if you ever want to do that, which we will not coming up because the bugs are going to uh, hit that over just a little. Make it a little straighter. There we go. And some of these we got to adjust just a little. There you go. Adjust. Adjust. Good. But anyway, so that's it for now. We're going to come back after we have uh, <laughs> refueled a little bit and uh, go from there, but uh, means eat. Yep, means eat. So, and do lots of other oh my stuff. goodness, that sounded and terrifying. I helped. You did help. Only one person was not helping at all. Yeah, it was our sister. Everybody was busy okay. putting in steaks it's and all that one. stuff, so lots of room in here. My sister went, yeah. Yeah. All right, hope y'all had a great day. Oh, by the way, shout out for those guys who do the videos of just one person putting these things together because man. Even if we had followed all the directions, getting that canvas over there, it takes some time. Especially the wind was kind of blowing quite a bit here. So uh, if you guys enjoyed it, click like button, subscribe, and we'll have some more videos of these tents coming up soon. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye-bye.